Hi, I had a question recently on how to add uh, internet links into Smart Notebook. There's a couple ways to do that. Um, number one is you can link any text or object. So if you have anything already um, in Smart Notebook, uh, be it a picture, an image, I can go and drag uh, any picture in, into Smart Notebook and then I can turn that into a link simply by clicking on it then right clicking and saying link and then it asks you to put in the address and you can have either there's an icon on the corner or the object itself and I'll show you both ways a corner icon means it's going to put that right there so that if you click on this it won't do anything you have to click on the icon in the corner to have the link worked the other way if I go and uh, go ahead and edit the link here where the object itself is the link that will go away and now if I click anywhere on that object it opens up the link so that's the first way is to um, just link something that's already in your smart notebook file and create a link from that and again that's just by right clicking on it and it could be anything it could be text in your thing where you have any words in there at all and again you just hit the arrow right click and say link and then you put in the address I'm gonna, oh, and there I actually hit enter a little early and it, so then it can either be that corner object or again by right clicking and going to link I can change it to um, the object itself so then it's just the words that makes that the last way to insert a link if you don't want to do it on uh, either a photo or text is just go to insert and link and you can do the same thing uh, this case uh, you can ha only do the corner object and it puts the entire address there on the link um, you can I guess uh, go and say the object and then oh, and say the object and then we'll have the address of the website that you would click on to open up the website I did want to point out that when we're talking about links links are not just a website you can also insert links for instance to other items on your computer like if I have a video I wanted to show in class I could also use this to link it to a video so I could go and right click and say link and instead of linking to a website which is the default I have these other options that I can link to as well a different uh, page in the in the current document making it so you kind of skip around the notepad but I can go to a file on the computer I can make it a shortcut to the file and then browse to the file and I'm going to go ahead and make it go to a um, link to a video that I've got on my computer and um, again you can have it go to the corner icon which you can see is the uh, little um, paper clip there or do it to the object in which case would be the words and now when I click on this it goes and opens that file which came across really loud I don't know if you can hear that or not but um, so if I do that I can have it automatically go to a video I can have it go to pictures I have downloaded I can have it go to anything on my computer uh, just as easily as I can have it embedded in so you can keep the um, any of the additional information you want to show during a class as part of the notebook presentation so that you can just click on it and it'll instantly open it up and show that file that way too. So this video is on how to link both websites and how to link any files or videos. You could easily make that be a uh, PDF file that maybe you wanted to, to uh, show to the kids as well that you have on your computer. You can link it to that kind of file as well so that for instance I wanted to talk about the student handbook I can have it open there so now 
I don't know what I just did there. I should have read that before I opened it. There we go. So I click on it and I opened up the PDF as well. So any kind of file that you can open on your computer, you can have linked as a file in Smart Notebook. And that's how to do links inside Smart Notebook.